everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to get straight into it. So first up I just take the Garnier micellar water and put that on her face with a cotton pad just to ensure the face is nice and clean before priming. For primer today I use the Benefit Professional. This one's the pore filling one and I just use that around her nose, on her chin and on her forehead and I just found that these were the most textured areas on her face. So obviously I want to smooth them out by using the pore minimizing primer. And then to prime the rest of her face I took the Poor Fessional Matte Rescue Gel Primer. This is new and I love it. She has slightly oily skin, so I decided to put this all around the rest of her face. Then for foundation, I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Fluided NC37. And obviously, this is matching her neck, not her face, because her face is wider than the rest of her body because she fake tans. Um... I got a few comments on my video with Brittany because obviously she also tans and she doesn't tan her face and everyone was like, oh my god, the foundation doesn't match, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I just wanted to point out that I'm obviously matching the foundation to her neck, not her face. So anyways, I'm just applying that evenly all over her face with a damp beauty blender. For concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Light. Obviously, it's my favorite concealer ever. And I'm placing that underneath her eyes, bridge of her nose, Cupid's bow chin, and a bit on her forehead. So to bake her concealer, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder just on that damp beauty blender that we were using before. I've actually tried to apply the bake with a dry sponge or wedge and I found that it wasn't as effective as using a damp beauty blender just because I feel like the product actually seeps into the skin with a damp one whereas when I used a dry one it kind of just sat on top of the skin and it looks a bit scaly. So yeah, I just thought I would let you guys know. I've actually recently been loving setting the rest of the face with the Laura Mercier translucent powder instead of my Australis Fresh and Flawless. I don't know, I just think it looks flawless and sometimes when I don't want to add that extra coverage, I use the Laura Mercier. So yeah, I'm really loving this and it doesn't have flashback, which is a plus. So now I'm taking my Rebon blush brush. This is my favorite brush for um, removing the excess powder from the bake just because I feel like it doesn't actually remove the concealer underneath because I know sometimes when I use brushes it does that. I'll leave a link down below where you can purchase these brushes from. They're so amazing. Then to contour, I'm using the Hoola Benefit Bronzer, of course, and I'm using the Rebon Powder 12 brush. Again, this brush is amazing for contouring. So as you can see, I'm just placing that in the hollow of her cheekbones around her forehead and on her jawline. So 
now to bake her contour, I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder again on a dry um, makeup wedge. You can get these wedges from like anywhere. Woolies, Coles, Priceline, literally any beauty store would have them. And as you can see, I'm just creating two lines just directly below her contour. Then for blush, I'm taking Max Petal Power. This is an amazing like shimmery type blush. It's really similar to Hot Mama actually by The Balm. And I'm taking that on the Reborn Blush Brush and just placing that on the apples of her cheeks. Then taking the small highlighter brush by Reborn, I'm using that with the MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter. I'm obsessed with this highlighter so much. I'm like almost hitting pan. Almost, and I'm about to cry, but yeah, I'm just placing that on her cheekbones, Cupid's bow, tip of her nose, and just a little bit down the bridge, underneath and below her brow bone. So now I'm brushing off that bake. I left it on for a little bit too long because you can see a really harsh line, but I did blend it out, but still, I only like to keep it on for about max a minute because I feel like it's hard to blend that line and then like your foundation underneath like kind of moves, I don't know. But yeah, I don't like to keep it on for too long. Um, so for eyebrows, I'm taking the Anastasi Beverly Hills Pro Brow Palette. And this is in the shade Taupe. And I'm using this on a Reborn Eyebrow Brush. And then taking the Fit Me Concealer again in light and I'm just using that on a Makeup Addictions Cosmetics Concealer Brush and I'm just using that to carve her brows. And then I'm placing it on her eyelids to act as a eyelid primer. And I'm just blending that in with a Reborn Multi Blender 54 brush. And then I'm just setting the eyelids with some Laura Mercier translucent powder. For eyeshadow today, I'm using the Anastasi Beverly Hills Shadow Couture Palette. It's one of my ultimate favorites. It's amazing. I'm grabbing Morocco, which is a burnt sort of orangey color. And I'm just placing that through her crease. And the brush I'm using is the Reborn Crease Brush. Then I'm taking Pink Champagne just on a flat shader brush by Zoeva and I'm just placing that on her inner corners of her eyes. Then I'm taking Fudge and I'm just using that on that same crease brush by Reborn and I'm just mainly placing that in the outer corners of her eyes.
For eyeliner, in her waterline, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Ocean Eyeliner. I'm just placing that in her waterline just with the Reborn 82 Eyeliner Brush. And I was so happy with the result of this. I just knew that putting blue in the waterline would make her blue eyes pop even more. And it did. It looks so amazing. Then taking fudge again on a Zoeva 230 brush, I'm just using that to smoke out her lower lash line. And now I'm highlighting the inner corners with the Reborn Point Smudge 57 brush. I'm just using MAC Soft and Gentle for this. Then for top liner, I'm using the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Pot Liner in black with my Reborn 83 eyeliner brush and just creating a thin line on the top of her eyes. Also, a hack to get the inner corner of the eyes with eyeliner, you tell the client to look down and look the opposite way. So that way, it's really, really easy to get right in the inner corner. Then for mascara, I'm using the Pony Cosmetics White Night Mascara, just on a disposable mascara wand, of course, and just coating her top and bottom lashes. Then I'm taking the Model Rock Smoky Velvet Double Layered Lashes and oh my god, how did I not know about these sooner? They are so, so, so incredible. I'll leave a link down below where you can purchase them from. Model Rock Lashes are my favorite lashes ever. I use them on my clients all the time. Then taking that mascara wand from before, I'm just using that to blend her real lashes with the false ones. Then to line her lips, I'm using the Gerard Cosmetics Sher Lip Liner. I've already gone through two of these and one of the nude ones, like I'm on my second one. I love these lip liners so much. They're so creamy, easy to apply, long lasting, amazing. I'll leave a discount code down below if you're interested. And then for lipstick, I'm also using one of my all time favorites, which is Faux by MAC. Um, this is really popular within my clients as well, as well as Buttercup by Gerard Cosmetics. They're both really gorgeous nude pink colors that suits pretty much every single person's skin tone and then over the top i'm just taking my rimmel oh my gloss lip gloss and this is just a clear one And then to finish off the look, I'm just spraying her face with some MAC Fix Plus. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and learned something new. And of course, if you recreate one of my looks, please tag me. I would love to see them. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.